Numbness, tingling, arms, hands, fingers. So you do have tingling in your left? Yes, I did have tingling and then I changed my setup a little bit. I got a shorter stem with more of an angle so it's sitting more upright. Mm -hmm. It has and a lot I, of pressure, you know, on your wrists. And it helped with this side. Any fractured bones, anything like that? Uh, no, I broke my nose one time. And what is your job? X-ray tech. X-ray tech, okay. Roll to the side. Oh, there you go. And done. And you're gonna, oh. Most painful part of the whole thing, right there. And just. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what my back feels like waking up. Just relax. <laughs> you're gonna be okay. <laughs> Your back is very similar. But low back, no low back pain. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, that is like. Yeah, that feels like it's very hard in there. It's like a piece of rock. All right, on your back, face up. Oh yeah, you, you're way different. Are you okay there? You just feel free to move about the cabin or uh, you can lay there and fall asleep, take a nap, whatever you want to do. Oh, don't mind watching that good. Then, then come on in. So for the first half of the trip, his uh, sleeping pad was just, he'd be laying on the ground in the middle of the night. Yeah, it just deflates. <laughs> Oh no. After about two hours. So maybe that's why your back hurts too. Well, uh, it, it hurt before then. The exercise I showed you is the one that you need to do. Your neck actually feels great. When's the last time you were adjusted? Like two years ago. I was having numbness in my left mm -hmm. side. I feel this and, on the left hand uh, side over here. He's got a problem right in the lower neck on his, on his left side. But uh, yeah. go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, I think I got like whiplash. Um, I got pushed from behind really hard, and it just like ruined my neck. Like somebody pushed you? <laughs> yeah. I was in. I play in bands, and we were on tour, and we were like at this place. And there was literally no one around except for me and my friend standing there. And a guy just ran from nowhere and pushed me from the back and was just like yelling woo. Oh my goodness. I see this right here. This is, this is going to, so since that moment you had tingling into your left arm. Yeah. Yeah, you have to work on this over here. Yeah, it feels all terrible in there. Yeah, this is a mess. Mm -hmm. This is these nerves here that exit. They go and feed into this arm, and give you the sensation that it's in your hand. Uh huh. Like even sometimes I have like twitches in my hand, and I know it's not really here in my hand. It's up here in my neck. Mm -hmm. Your feet are like all swollen. <laughs> yeah, that's it got annihilated. Awful. <laughs> Be real careful with your feet. This kind of tells me where I'm going. Okay. Ready. Right here. I'm just gonna get one. Oh. I think I hit the mic. <gasps> I'm sorry. That was out. <laughs> you doing okay? Mm-hmm. You're like, mm-hmm. There's one here. There it is. Okay. Feet. I didn't ask you how it was. Are you okay? <laughs> I made it. Your poor feet. Is it hurt when I touch it at no, all? No, you're good. The skin isn't too sensitive? No. I'm only imagining what the title of this video is going to be. Two burnt bike <laughs> bicyclists. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, your poor feet. They're like even a little swollen. Cold shower. Mm -hmm. 
That was nice. Yeah. It didn't feel too bad yesterday. And then I woke up today and was like, oh, wow. The, when the first day is okay, it's the second day. It's the worst. Yeah. You just got to keep yourself real hydrated. You're like, you missed a few. <laughs> Let me get them for you. <laughs> all right, all right. You got like a little bit of flat feet. Yeah, that's... I'm sure you're aware. I'm very aware. I'm sure you are. Yeah, this is like, he's not like super horrible, but this is, I have um, flat feet, but they're called, they call it like functional flat feet. So when I take a step, you can see my, my arch collapses like that, okay? Mm -hmm. I can train it though. When I pick my foot up, I have an arch. So they call it weak arches. Yours, however, <laughs> the navicular bone has just dropped. Yeah, it's and probably from wearing skateboard shoes. You think it's that? Maybe. When I you were little? Were you my little? like entire life. I don't know. I think you probably had this since you were oh, born. Maybe. But um I definitely do know that my feet are very flat. Yeah, there's so people are asking me, I'm like, I can't put an arch in that. It ain't gonna move. <laughs> They don't hurt. No, just the, the, I have a lot of patients with flat feet. They they're fine. They don't have any problem. People are like, oh, you have flat feet. As long as you keep yourself moving, it's when you just stop moving that things start hurting. All right, reach overhead, grab the table. How are you doing? You all right? I'm fine. And your back and everything. Yeah. Is it feeling better now? Yeah. And I left you there a little too long. <laughs> It's not bad for you. It's just, yeah. it's extreme. Okay. Um, I can do your elbows, fingers while we're here. I usually just crack it all. It tells me a lot about the person. But this is the wrist he's saying is hurting, so I gotta check it at least. No, nothing much wrong there in the wrist. There's a little bit of restriction on the outside right here. So it's either one anatomical or it's something that you're doing to yourself on both sides. Yeah, I think I need to get like a proper bike fit. Okay. To figure that stuff out. It's stuck on the outside, so you're really putting so a lot I'm of like pressure. This. Oh, okay. He has weird bars. Hmm. Oh. I don't know if that would cause it or not. It's just this bone right here on the outside is really stuck. Mm -hmm. Like it should kind of move and I'm not, you know, I'm like, there we go, a little bit, get, but it doesn't feel unhealthy at the same time, it doesn't feel like it's um, unstable, or it's, well, it's coming loose a little bit, there it is, that's how it should move, uh -huh. and that took me quite a bit of force, Come in here. There it is. We're starting to get it. Yeah, it definitely feels like it's doing something now. <laughs> Instead of just not doing anything. You want them, you don't want them to get jammed, those little pebbles in there. You don't want them to get like, and then scar tissue to develop. Because guess what happens? The other ones start hurting. It's not really a pain. It's so the tingling. Not really. It's always just... Uh, the pinkies? Uh-huh. Fourth and fifth digit. Okay, then, then that is causing it then. There's a tunnel right here. I'm not uh -huh. sure how much anatomy. Yeah. There's a tunnel right in here, and you mm -hmm. gotta keep that free. Okay, there's two. There's the carpal tunnel. Uh -huh. Then there's the tunnel of Guyon right here underneath the pisiform, and you gotta get that right there. And that one's getting compressed. And that might be giving you the sensation, mm -hmm. but you're saying it's mostly only on this side? It's on this side as well, but okay. there's more on this side. Okay. So. Lower left neck, outsides of your wrists. Okay, you gotta work on those. All right, so we're gonna go on your stomach. Did you get bit? Uh, yeah. Y yeah, by a bunch of mosquitoes in the swamp. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, I don't. <laughs> Florida has a lot of pests, and sometimes it's not mosquitoes. Okay. <laughs> that is the usual culprit, but. We got alligators. Did you see any of those? So one. Yeah. 
Oh, we saw that one dead one on the on the road. Yeah. We've seen a lot of armadillos, though. <laughs> the state animals should be an armadillo. I think I suppose we carry leprosy. I don't know if that's true, but that's what we read. But um, yeah, you're not supposed to like touch those. He's got this right lateral curvature. Deep breath in for me. All the way out. <laughs> you're gonna need it. Sorry. Again. <sighs> go <laughs> it did <laughs> all right deep breath in again and then oh yeah come on <laughs> have you seen any of my videos at all like yes. one okay uh -huh. oh no oh no yeah, I'm real you're worse than him oh how long did you lay out there for literally probably like four or five hours I thought I was good, but I wasn't. <laughs> Four or five hours? Was... You're lucky you're not bleeding. I just don't think my... Like, the parts that have been exposed to the sun this whole time are fine. It was just the parts that weren't. Right. I've definitely learned sunscreen is needed. Because I've not really, like, used it too much before. But this trip I got seriously burnt and had like blisters yeah you got it Whew. how's it doing is it hurting your skin too much no I'm doing fine and this is the second day of the sunburn yeah Yeah, it feels like all through there is just garbage. <laughs> I can't even stay like on top of your muscles. It's, I'm wobbling around. I check every once in a while, see what kind of damage I'm doing. That doesn't feel too bad. That's good. Take over one day. We'll be doing all this. It's just Linnea's Yeah, Linnea's recording it. Recording it. Mm-hmm. And that's the microphone. This is the microphone. How old are you? I'm three years old. That's right. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Walker. What's your name? A little muscle in through yeah, there. Yeah, piriformis muscle. Uh huh. Ooh. And I like did some research into it and it said like that was maybe that was the cause. So I started doing those and stretching. One of the one of the days when we rode um, with like twenty mile an hour headwinds, we got to a, a weird town in Texas, and we were all we just looked like zombies because we were so <laughs> tired. We were like, like our eyes were bloodshot. And we yeah, were from the wind. Looking absolutely yes. crazy. Because you probably don't blink as much or <laughs> your, your tears get dried out. And <laughs> we thought it was like a nothing town, Texas, and it turned out to be a Marfa, Texas, which is like a art place. Um, yeah, it's a really hip town. It was crazy. So you thought there was like it was a small town and it ended up being It is a small town, but it's like I don't even it's like a artist center. Yeah. We were like, Oh, is there any hotels here? Like, oh yeah, there's like four hotels. We called them all up and they're like all booked, booked. up completely. We're like, What what do we do? 
<laughs> the next town was 30 more miles away. Oh, no. Well, Luckily, these people let us sleep in their garage. <laughs> well, at least there's some shelter. Yeah, it was, it was great. It was like 30 mile per hour winds, and it was like 30 degrees that night. Oh, my God. Well, you guys might be used to 30 degrees, I guess. It was not fun. It's better than 12. Uh, yeah. Every degree counts <laughs> below 35. All right. And then this comes forward. Now, this isn't like your other chiropractor. We're going to go, because I can already tell you're used to something else. You just tell me where to go. Or put me where okay, to go. so you're going to, wonderful, lead this way. Now, swing your body kind of off the table that way. Arch back. Yes, perfect. Oh, man. Both of you are equally. <laughs> Look at that. It ain't going to go. Other side. Yeah, just, I guess, being seated that long on a bike. You're almost off the table. Oh, that was a close one. I haven't ever had a patient fall off, but that was close. <laughs> you know, it's thin, so I could just kind of hold on to you guys. <laughs> All right, now pelvis towards me. That way, yep. Now body back off the table almost. Yep, there it goes. Both of you, you understand? We're like this. And I had to do the same move. You're not related. No, no. <laughs> All right, come on up for me. How is it feeling? Pretty good. Okay, just go ahead and take like a walk around the room. Are you doing all right? Yeah. Especially from the pelvis being adjusted. That's feel pretty good. No harm done? No. Okay, so let's work on some exercises.